My name is The Adipose and this series is all about helping you become a better YouTuber. In this video we're going to be looking at the free software Windows Movie Maker and showing you some of the cool features it has such as the ability to add narration on top of your video clips. Well, greetings guys and welcome back to How To YouTube. Now, we've been looking at, in the last few videos, some of the uh, online methods of editing videos, namely the one in the YouTube video editor, which is actually kind of online. Um, but there are, of course, lots of paid options as well, bits of software and some free software um, as well. And what I want to show, to show you today is probably the most popular um, free video editor is because it actually comes or can come with Windows itself. And it's known as Windows Movie. Movie Maker, and if you type that into Google, um, you'll get a whole bunch of different results um, to help you uh, in install this on your machine. And you might find that you've actually got it on your machine already. If you go to your your Start menu or wh wh whichever version of Windows you you're looking at, and type in the word Movie, have a good look at everything that comes up because you might find, just like I've got here, that Windows Live Movie Maker is actually already on your machine. If it isn't, then you probably need to click on some of these links here, and you, you click on the first one, and you can click download now and get that kind of running on your machine. Now the only thing I would possibly say here about getting it is there is a bit of a debate going on about whether the latest version of Movie Maker or Movie Maker 2.6 are actually better because the latest version of Movie Maker speaking on 2013 um, is really easy to use, um, it's really simple, it's really clear but it doesn't actually have all the features of the older version so have a little think about whether you're the kind of person that's going to want something that's just really really easy and clear to use or something that's got a few more features, um, and uh, a lot. If you're probably if you're looking to progress from the YouTube one, um, it might be that the the two the two point six version does you a little bit better. If you're interested in that, then you just click Movie Maker two point six um, into Google, and then you get a link that says Download Movie Make Windows Movie Maker two point six. Now it does say it's for Vista, but it does work on um, Windows seven um, as well. So have a little think about which one you want and get it installed on your machine. Obviously, you will need um, administrator access to install something um, on, a, on a machine. So make sure you have that before you start downloading. So here I am with the uh, most up-to-date version of Windows Live's Movie Maker. So this is not 2.6. This is the one you would get if you go for the most recent download. Um, and as you can see, it's got a, a really simple way of just adding video clips. Um, on the left, we've got the, the picture of the, the video that I'm currently... Um, looking at and then you just kind of pull things into this little window here um, I could right click and do add videos and photos and go and browse and find various things or you can actually just pull things directly in so if I show you my uh, my recent YouTube um, videos that I've uploaded I, I can just grab any single of them so here's a Simpsons one I finished earlier I can just drag it into there and you can see it's just added the whole video in so I can I can easily connect two videos three videos four videos um, together and if I don't want the whole video I can just kind of pull this little tab along here to the point where I want it to start I can right click and I can do set start point and then that's chop that video to start at that point and then say I want to stop it there and of course you can find out what exactly is going on by pressing the pressing the play button and finding it and let's say I want it to stop there I can right click set end point and you can see I've now just got a small bit of that video that I can edit together um, to make one bigger video and of course the, these, these don't have to be two or three completely different videos. They could be similar footage from the same game, so uh, or, or from this or from the same scene. Whether you filmed it with a webcam, captured it from your computer, captured it from a game or whatever, um, the way that you the way that you edit videos is you tend to get lots of little bits of footage, cut out the bits you don't want, put together the bits you want to keep, um, and that's how you make a video. But there are features missing here. Um, you can't add narration, for example. Um, you can't um, go to a timeline view, and I'll show you what that is. But you can upload directly to various places um, SkyDrive, Facebook, YouTube um, various other ones, there's other plugins that you can put in here to put it to various places and of course it's a bang up to date um, uh, program as well so it will be able to handle up to date uh, video formats as well which is of course an advantage. You can import directly from a webcam or um, snapshot or, or various things like that. You can add music from various different places as well but you can only have one video track and one audio track um, in this whereas the 2.6 version has a little bit more and of course paid software would have huge amounts of, of tracks of video tracks and audio tracks but I'll talk about that a little bit more in another video. So let's switch over to the 2.6 version 
version and I'll show you some more cool stuff that you can do in that. But as an alternative, here is Windows Movie Maker 2.6, which gives me some alternative options um, for um, editing. Now, uh, let me show you. If I kind of just drag in a clip here, um, I can pull in one of the ones I was working on earlier from a, from a Fallout video, and I can just pull in um, the clip like that, and it puts it into a kind of a little collection, as you can see up here, and I could put lots of clips into here, um, and then kind of play with the ones I want. But when 2.6 gets powerful is I can switch over to the timeline view um, like this, and then if I then start, if I then pull the clip into here, you can see it puts the whole clip in, and then I can start trimming it, i.e. I can cut off the beginning, I could cut off the end, I could um, remove the end if I want, and you can see here as I kind of stop pulling it around, I can really kind of have a good look at exactly where I want this clip to start and exactly where I want this clip to end so I can move this blue thing around and you can see the screen on the right is updating to show me the part of the clip I'm at so if I want it to stop exactly there I can just pull the end um, down to there and now it stops exactly there I can also add narration over the top if I click this button here that says narrate timeline it um, gives me an option here that says start and stop um, narration and it'll start from whenever I have the um, the start point on the video and I'll just click the hit hit the start button um, I can talk over the top it'll be recording what I'm doing and when I press stop we'll see hopefully see something new down here um, which will then give me a, a narrated file over the top of the original video file that I have done so let's click stop narration um, it'll ask where I want to save the file because it'll, it combines these two files so I'd give it a, a, a useful name so I've recorded it over a fallout one so I'm going to call it fallout uh, narration number one hit save and you can see that there's now an extra little file um, down the bottom here which is just the, that narration and now when I press play on top of them um, you're going to have the original video footage with my narration over the top playing at the same time and of course if I don't like it at any point just select it delete it and redo it and one of the things I do when making my videos is if I ever do anything I'm not completely happy with or you know, mainly not happy with you redo it and and often what I'll do as well is I will I'll narrate for a period of time so I might narrate all the way along here for say like two three four minutes but then if I don't like a little 10 section 10 second section in the middle I'll go back and I'll start kind of um I'll, I'll start trimming little sections out and replace individual little sections but that's how you make a kind of high quality tutorial um, with narration over the top now one of the disadvantages of the 2.6 version is although it lets you do narration and gives you a nice timeline edit it doesn't necessarily work with all the modern video types because it is older um, it doesn't let you use um, M M4Vs which is my YouTube stuff and it does struggle with um, a few other formats but as long as you are um, experiment with what video types it will work with and hopefully you'll be able to get some some good effects out of it as well I hope you found this introduction to Windows Movie Maker useful. Obviously there's lots more to learn and check out future tutorials um, for the whole design process using this very cool free piece of software. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.